Uh, I think uh, to reaffirm the principle of unknown interference and uh, follow uh, safeguards of the United Nations Charter is uh, the uh, bottom line and particularly the uh, national integrity of China. And uh, uh, based on that, the, uh, we can really see that there's a huge prospect for China and the EU to work together, uh, both in uh, technological development, in trade and investment, etc. And now we are also facing a very tough challenge of the climate change. So therefore, uh, how we can really develop the uh, green energy and to benefit the world and also uh, you know, in terms of the uh, education, uh, aerospace, uh, agriculture, um, biomedicine. So the, uh, we also have a very strong complementarity in which China can really step up uh, to uh, work more uh, with the uh, EU uh, in that regard. And we can also see from the uh, EU uh, report uh, over the Chinese investment climate uh, we are also improving on a steady basis, and uh, more of the multinationals from EU are really seeing uh, huge opportunities uh, to step up their investment uh, in China. So therefore, uh, what we need to do is really to set aside some differences uh, of the historical legacy, but look into the future and to join hands to uh, further in, uh, enhance the uh, strategic partnership and particularly to really uh, uh, quickly uh, find a way to really defrost the uh, CAI, which is the uh, Comprehensive Agreement on Investment, so which is a very concrete milestone for uh, these two uh, partners to work together more closely to boost trade and investment. Now, having said that, uh, just to follow up very quickly, are you optimistic on the resumption of uh, negotiations and uh, discussions on the BIT between China and EU? That's right. I think uh, right now, uh, you know, after uh, nearly one decade of very hard discussion and both sides have agreed on all the principles in terms of the uh, competition and uh, neutrality, in terms of the IP protection, environmental consideration, etc. So, uh, you know, uh, simply because the, uh, uh, you know, EU has really taken the excuse of the human rights issues, uh, labor issues with China, and uh, they have really suspended the uh, uh, further discussion over that. I think now uh, when more of the trust building is being enhanced through a number of dialogues, uh, you know, in terms of the innovation, in terms of judicial, uh, in terms of the uh, education, etc. And so I think, you know, there is a good reason for uh, both sides really to move forward to really break this deadlock. And that can really benefit not only the business community, but also the people at large who are really suffering from hyperinflation and from climate changes. So uh, I, I hope that uh, uh, both sides of the leadership can really exercise their vision and the courage to move forward to combat those conservative forces to dredge on this dialogue.